Hey folks, this is Owen here at the Capital RV in Bismarck, North Dakota. I'm standing right in front of this 2021 Montana 3121 RL for rear living. Starting out in the front here, you do have a massive storage compartment with door access on both sides. Really nice to be able to get in each side and get to what you need to real easily. That is where your vented battery storage compartment is as well. And that comes standard vented room for two batteries. So moving on to the side here, you do have the propane tanks on each side. Uh, they do have room for the 30 pounders, and then you're not breaking your back, bending underneath to get to them up front. They are right here on the side. Uh, right next to that, you have this massive open pass-through storage. The reason this pass-through storage is so massive is because there's actually a drop 12-inch I-beam below the floor. When they drop that I-beam, it opens this up for a much larger pass-through storage. It is fully finished under here. You've got lights, your shop vac right here. That HVAC is built into the system. It does come with a hose long enough to reach the entirety of the camper. So you don't need to worry about lugging one of those with you. Um, you do have cable ports and power ports right there as well. So if you did want to mount a TV mount right here that swung out so you could watch the game next to the camper, you easily could do so. There is room too to put a nice size dorm little mini fridge right here too and plug in as well this is heated also the furnace is ducted straight to this so if you do want to put stuff under here that you don't want freezing uh, you would totally be fine as long as that furnace is going of course right here on the camp side of the coach you do have two really large awnings one on the slide one on the side of the camper right here you do have the outdoor speakers right underneath this front awning as well that is controlled through the inside system too so if you have something playing in there you can stream it through the speakers out here so these steps right here are really nice too not only are they solid they're not going to move around on you at all they are spring loaded so it is literally that easy to fold these up inside of the coach and let them back down they do have adjustable legs as well so if it is uneven really easily both can be adjusted to the right height so that it's a nice solid step all the way up moving on to these windows these are frameless windows are going to be a little bit better insulated and aesthetically really really nice there so on the back of the coach here they do come standard with the ladder for the roof access you can walk around up there it does have a prep for backup camera so once the couple screws come out your backup camera can go right in real easy there also it does come standard with a hitch from the factory that is welded to the frame so that is going to be rated for a few thousand pounds of towing and they did go ahead and run the four-way plug right to the back here if you do want to pull your boat and such right behind it it is ready to do that so this wet bay here in the pass-through storage on the driver's side is really really neat keystone did you do have an outdoor shower right at the top of it it does come with the hose attachment a little sprayer so you can spray off the bottom of people's feet dog paws whatever before going into the camper you do have the water heater bypass there as well so when you go to winterize instead of having to crawl under a cabinet and unhook that you can just simply switch that valve right here and it will bypass that for you you also have all your water connections and your tank flush conveniently right there under a light at night so you can see what you're doing also your tank pulls so you're not crawling around under the coats once you hook up your black tank hose you can do everything from right here which is super nice in addition to that they do have mounted right there a really large inverter uh, your controller is already prepped as well this does have a solar panel on the top so the way this unit comes from the factory it is ready to go to charge the batteries through that solar panel moving right along front here you do have your other propane access on this side and then your auto leveling controller this is a hydraulic unit fully hydraulic auto leveling so once you get to the campground pull the pin on your hitch you're going to come over here turn this on hit one button it'll come off from the hitch you hit another button and it'll totally level itself out without you having to do anything other than touch this button right here all right so inside this 3121 is pretty neat here in the back with it being a rear living model you do have the really nice thomas Paine theater seats right across from the tv and fireplace 
This fireplace does put out a decent amount of heat, so if it's chilly at night and not quite cold enough to justify turning on the furnace, you kick this on, it will take that chill out of the air. So this theater seating right here too is the Thomas Paine collection, really nice stuff. It is heated and massaging. You have USB ports on both sides as well for convenient charging. You can kick your feet up there with the touch of a button. And then over here on this full-size sofa, it is also a queen size bed when it pulls out uh, really comfortable and then once it's all the way out you still actually have room to get around this island even when that is fully extended in addition to that you've got the end tables on both sides with chargers both right there usb so you can conveniently plug in your phone while you're sitting here enjoying everybody's company and then right above you of course you've got all this really nice overhead storage that does go all the way back so games, blankets, whatever, you got plenty of room for it right here above the sofa. So speaking of cool air, the Montana does feature the Quiet Whisper air system. With these intakes back here and the way it's ducted throughout the camper, it is gonna be quite a bit less decibels than other RVs in its class. So that when you're back here enjoying everybody's company and that AC is kicking and rumbling, you can still talk and enjoy the conversation with ease. Also, just the nicer touches in these Montanas, you notice right here, the crown molding, they put LHT strips behind those for the backlighting when it's nighttime and all the other lights are turned off and you turn those on, it's a really, really neat vibe in here. So the kitchen in this coach is pretty neat. Notice it's featuring solid surface countertops on the island, both next to the oven and on the little buffet over there. This oven range is super nice. It's got the splash guard that folds back. So if grease is gonna kick up, you can simply just scrape it off of there. And then when you're not using that, it folds over to increase your prep space across the entire countertop. They do include these convenient little charging ports on both sides. These do push right down and stow away into the countertop. And then when you need them, you simply just tap them and they pop right up. Those are on both sides. You do also get the residential convection microwave plenty big enough to throw a pizza in there or cook some muffins whatever you want to do really and then right above that of course you can't forget your wine storage you do have room for a few bottles up there the way that it's stored they're not going to bounce around and fall out when you're going down the road and it's pretty hard to be in this kitchen and not notice the amount of storage in here there's storage under the island you've got four cabinets under there along with drawers you've got cabinets on drawers on both sides of the oven here along with a full-size pantry over in the corner um, that pantry does go all the way up to the top and the shelves are full length and depth so you can get quite a bit behind there also this sink right here it isn't the one bin farmhouse it's actually a double din sink really nice if you're actually going to do some dishes out of the campsite way easier to do dishes when you have both of those bins here uh, this is a residential fixture so you do have the wand making it so much easier to do things back here of course so this montana does have the full electric residential ge fridge this is going to be just like the fridge at home so getting parts service is really really easy to do super efficient it's cooling time is really low so when you get off work and you want to get ready for the weekend you should only need to give it an hour or so and this should be cool enough to start putting food into it you've got all the drawers for produce the full access just like you would at home and then this under drawer here is going to be all freezer space plenty of room there they have separate bins to keep everything organized really really nice to have so on the side of the kitchen here in this Montana, you do have a really nice pantry. As soon as you open that door, a light does come on. It's a motion sensor light, which is pretty neat. You don't have to worry about shutting that off. As long as you keep it on, as soon as you open up that door, you're gonna see what you're doing. Right next to that, you have this nice buffet space, extra storage uh, below and above, and then outlets right underneath. So if you wanna keep small kitchen appliances here, Keurigs, coffee pots, whatever. It's really convenient to have it out of the way, leaving the rest of your prep space open. So the dinette here is pretty neat. You do have the two chairs that come from the factory right here. There are two more chairs that come with it underneath. There is an extension right here that can flip out so that there's a comfortable amount of room 
for four full-size adults. Uh, notice right here on the ledge, they do have this power port that simply stows away underneath, and then when you want to access it, you just tap that, it pops up with the two USB ports and three prongs. So if you want to turn this into a workstation with a view, you've got the power imports right there. So in the hallway here, conveniently right when you open up the door, they do give you a really nice coat rack and pegboard for keys with little hooks right here. So as soon as you walk into camper, place to put the hoodie and your keys so you're not losing them in this thing. So in this bathroom, you've got a really nice vanity with the sink right here. You have power outlets right on the side, along standard from the factory with the power vent fan. This is the upgraded fan with the rain sensor. So as soon as it detects moisture, it is gonna start to auto close. Um, also, when you're taking a shower, or brushing your teeth, whatever, and there's moisture in this bathroom, you can turn that on. It'll suck all that right out of your camper so you don't have to worry about your moisture content building up um, inside of here while you're using the amenities. Also, really big mirror right across from where I'm standing here. Really, really nice just to make it feel more open for the space that it is. And then right behind me, you do have really good storage uh, right above the stool. The stool is kind of at an angle so that you do have more room. And it is standard with the ceramic stool, which is an upgrade right from the factory. And when it comes to this shower, I don't know if you're gonna see much of a bigger one in any coach. It does have the stool right built into the inside of the shower casing so that if you do wanna sit down while you're taking a shower, you absolutely can. And then it is plenty wide enough for a full-size adult along with the storage shelving on top if you wanna keep your shampoos and stuff out of the way inside the shower. So the bedroom here is super nice. This is a king size residential bed. So if you do wanna swap the mattress, any residential king size will work right here. Notice they do put nightstands on both sides with USB and three prong charging ports. You don't have to fight over who gets to charge their phone. There's plenty right there for both. You do have the windows on both sides and blackout shades throughout the camper. So you could actually sleep in in the morning back here right next to the bed. The whole front cap is dedicated towards the closet, so there is tons of room up here. You do have a light right above, illuminating everything, super easy to see. And then storage below and two shelves dedicated solely for shoe storage, so they're not gonna be in the way in the bedroom. Um, right next to that spot, you do have the washer dryer hookups in the closet. If you're not gonna do a washer dryer, it is just tons of extra space to hang up clothes, but if you do wanna do that, there is room for the stackable and the combo in this coach. And then right across from the bed, you've got a TV and more storage, a little dresser right here, three drawers on each side to put away stuff. Uh, with the TV being right across from the bed, obviously really nice at night if you're gonna kick your feet up and watch a show, it is right there, already ready to go from the factory. Thank you guys for going through this 3121 Montana with me today. Again, Owen here at Capital RV. Would love for you to come down and check it out.